They use a very inquisitive one. Dad reviews Tommy Tippy Super Steam Sterilizer. We've got the lid here. And we've got two trays. We've got the upper tray and we have got the lower tray. Here. What do you think of that one, John? He's intrigued, of course. They use a very inquisitive one. Put it out of his reach. And we've got the base unit here. So there's not really a great deal to it, to be honest with you. What, what it basically is, is a heating element at the bottom, um, which you put water on, you pour water onto, and when you turn it on, it heats up and it, it just gets so hot that it causes the water to turn into steam. And then this steam travels through the different layers of the, of the, the sterilizer and covers um, all your equipment that you've put in there and kills all the bacteria. So, you know, it's really straightforward. You just pour in a certain amount of water, which is up to the, the two discs. Follow the instructions for your own machine. Um, and then you, you put your tray in, you've got the bottom tray. I'm just gonna pour the excess water in here. I'm not gonna turn it on anyway. Um, you pour, put the bottle in, the bottom. Um, you've also, it doesn't really show you where to put these pieces, but I always put them in the bottom as well. I only ever do five bottles, even though it can take six, just because when you're trying to fit your lids and your extra parts in, um, it can be quite difficult. So I'm just going to put one of those in. The other thing to remember at the top, um, or to bear in mind, is that you put your, your caps on. When you're putting these caps on top of the teat, you don't want to cover it. So you don't want to put it directly on top like this. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to use these clips on the side here to hold the lid. So if I just put that on, and I'll give you a close-up of this, and you just put the, the lid in the side, it will stop the, the lid from falling directly on top of the teat, um, and that will help to, to prevent any condensation building up in there whilst the steam process is running in. Here's a close-up of the, the teat and the lid. It's just uh, attached to this little bit of plastic here and the teat just sits underneath so it's resting at an angle. And then what we do is we put the lid on and we press go. And that will start to stay, generate steam. You can stop it by pressing the stop button if you need to. Um, you will find that it gets quite hot and everything that is in here will be hot afterwards for some time. So what you'll need to do is leave it um, for a while. So you need to be prepared, you need to create this before you need your bottle. So let's talk about maintenance of the machine. How do we maintain it? Well, you have to clean the trays. Um, your main thing to clean really on this machine is the base unit. So I'll bring this up to the camera. And as you can see, there's a bit of lime scale on here. It's not too bad because I've cleaned it. I will show you uh, a different, another picture um, which shows it once it's been built up and what happens is the lime scale builds up over time and if you don't clean it it'll start to burn onto the heating element and that can cause issues. Um, it can cause your bottles to get dirty, it can cause the whole sterilizer to get dirty and it can start to potentially damage the heating element. I think it may void your warranty. I'm not entirely sure but I think it does. Um, so, how do we clean it then? That's, uh, that's a good question. The easiest thing to do is to use white vinegar. Um, so we use white vinegar, 5% distilled white vinegar, and you just pour 250 mils into the bottom, basically to cover, cover the bottom, and leave it there for uh, some time. Depends how long you have. Ideally, you, you could leave it there overnight, but it depends on how long, long you have. And, then I'll just wipe it down with, with a cloth, um, nothing abrasive because you don't want to damage the, the plate here at the bottom. I want to just talk about different options available too. You can use cold water sterilizers which are basically just um, big buckets of water and sterilizing solution. So like here for example you could use this um, Dr. Johnson sterilizing fluid. There is a link to this in the description below so if you want to check it out have a look. This is really handy for if you're on the go. The other option available to you is actually a microwave. So Tommy Tippy, Newbie, they all sell these things. You know, Boots, Phillips as well. 
it's just a big plastic disc. Um, you think of a cover for when you're microwaving your food. It's the same thing. You put your water and your bottles into this plastic kind of dish and you put it in the microwave. You rely on the heat of the microwave to create the steam and the steam will kill the bacteria, fungi uh, and viruses as well. So steam is very effective at sterilising 